Welcome back to Rocky Top, Tennessee and another edition of Inside Malibu. I'm your host, Chris Loomis, and today we got a brand new boat, whole host of brand new features, and of course, a brand new set of shoes for a walkthrough video. I'm on board Malibu's brand new 25 LSV, known around the world as the limo on the water. Now, right away, we're gonna show you one of the biggest, coolest new features we've got this year, three years in development, the all new G10 Power Tower. Now before I put it up, notice just how low it folds. And with a very easy switch of the finger, tower goes up automatically. Now, let's take a look at the board racks as this guy's coming up. We've improved the distance in each one of these forks to accommodate the ever growing thicker surfboards. Multiple set points, automatic clamping, two of which are standard, two of which are optional. Up front, you are gonna find the most spacious traditional bow boat available on the market. Now Malibu's always been known for the forward bow ballast tank, creating more weight distribution pushed further forward. What we've adopted this year is the battery location all the way up front, increasing that forward weight. We've also designed a great little windscreen pocket opened up driver kick panel storage, as well as continuous pass-through storage all the way to the back of your boat. Rounding it out with armrests and eight inch speakers, it's an enjoyable space to be. So I've got a special guest for us today, Aaron Pierce. Aaron's one of our top engineers at Malibu. Really excited to have him on the team. Aaron, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I actually started on the water when I was a little kid, tubing, riding around behind my parents' boat at the lake house. Um, then kind of started to work my way into wakeboarding, always had a passion for spending time on the water with family. Um, went to school at UT, getting my engineering degree there. I was lucky enough to have the opportunity to come on Malibu's engineering team as an intern. That ended up turning into a full-time position, and now I get to design these. That's awesome. I mean, that's, that's almost childhood dream realized. Oh, absolutely. I love my job. That's fantastic. Well, a couple new features that you brought to us today we're really excited about. you mind walking me through what we've got new for this new bench seat. Absolutely. Uh, so this bench seat actually has eight total positions. It's a forward facing seat here, so you can close the cabin space, get a little closer in this huge 25 foot limousine. It can go even farther forward. This position will actually get you underneath the bimini, in the shade, out of the rain, close up the cabin area if it's cold, get you out of the wind. In addition to that, it can flip backwards. And now it's a rear facing seat all uh -huh. the way back. This that one's in true. line with here, right next to your wake view. You can then move it again. Now you're next to this wake view. So however you want to lounge out with your crew, you can choose. And the last one is a table position. <laughs> oh, that is cool. So in all those same positions, you've got a table position as well, cup holders, space to kind of play with, do whatever you want. Absolutely, every position's got a table and a lean back option. That's fantastic, that, that thing's gonna be a great hit this year. So, a couple other items. Um, I noticed the hinging mechanism over here is a little unique. Walk me through that one if you don't mind. Absolutely, let me get the seat out of the way real quick. So we actually changed the way the hinges go this year. A Couple different reasons for that. Um, number one, it lets one hinge alone cover the cooler and get this cooler out very easily. Malibu's known for always having an under seat cooler, but in a 25 foot boat, that's not quite enough. So in addition to the under seat cooler, we've added a full storage locker for a slide out soft cooler. This ends the argument of reaching down to get your beverages, trying to get underneath someone. This is instant access to all of your beverages right away. Man, that's a great idea. I've heard so many complaints about the in-floor coolers, whether the, the lid's dropping down on your toes or you're having to reach really deep into the boat just to get a drink. That's a perfect solution. It makes it easy to grab for everyone in the boat. Absolutely. The main thing was just trying to end the conversation of what is the best cooler position. If you can't decide, we're gonna give you both. But in-floor is definitely not the way to go. So Aaron, with all these coolers on board, what do you do with your empties? Well, let me show you. 
So instead of putting the trash can underneath a cushion where someone's gonna have to get up, or in the floor where you're gonna have to lean over to get to it, we actually hid the trash can back behind the cooler. And to get the trash in there, there's a billet lid right here that drops right into it. Right next to that, we've got dual USBs, 12 volt outlet, cup holders, and this boat actually has eight eight inch speakers throughout it. It's the most we've ever offered. And one of the things I think you might've missed is we've actually got a built in lean back right there by the cooler. Wow, that's a, that's a great idea. Now that you mention this, I noticed something like this only on the other side. You're right. We've actually got three wake view seats in this boat. So with our third wake view seat, you've actually got one for cruising forward down the lake. Wow, and that, you know what that looks like to me is it opens up a massive amount of storage space under the deck. Tons of storage. You're absolutely right. With this cushion flipped up, you can see we've got deep storage that goes all the way from back here, right past the observer seat. And then on our side panels, we added cell phone holders in two locations and each cell phone has its own USB plug. You know, so as I sit here in this new driver's seat, totally different than what Malibu's done in the past. By cutting away this side, it allows me to sit side saddle, talk to my crew, watch what's going on, but still has a very luxurious, you know, high performance sports car kind of feel to it that I really feel like I'm connected to the water going on in front of me. What other technology have you guys put up in the helm of this boat? Well, we actually redid our phone holder for this year. It's got a built-in wireless charger in it, and it's actually been working way better than any of the automotive wireless chargers we've been trying. We're also first to market with this option. And there's two other additional wireless chargers, one hidden in the glove box and one right next to you in the driver's storage. That is cool, I noticed that. So I also noticed, looks like we got a bow thruster option on here. Absolutely, bow thruster push the nose back and forth, help you get in the slip easier. We got a power driver's seat as an option, I've noticed goes up and down. What have you guys not thought of? If you can think of anything, let me know. <laughs> Aaron, I appreciate you taking some time out of your day and give us a walk through this 25, it's been fantastic. Uh, more importantly, I appreciate your team. Give them a big thanks, round of applause. They have put a lot of thought, a lot of time, and a lot of energy into this boat. Incredible stuff that they've brought to market this year. I'm super excited to get this boat on the water. So, we are too. Thanks for having me. Thank you. So now let's get back to what really matters, what the 25 LSV can do on the water. Wakes, waves, performance. Quite honestly, the real reason that you're looking at a boat, how much fun are you going to have behind it? With me, Chad Sharp, longtime Malibu team rider, ambassador for the wake industry, expert in what these things can do on the water. Chad, thank you for showing up today. Thanks for having me. So a couple questions for you. From your level, pro level athlete, walk me through the wake on well, this thing. To start off with this wake, it's got the biggest, longest wake surf wake I've seen out there. And then when you jump into the wakeboard side, it has so much landing and takeoff area. The wake's big, but very manageable to ride. You get that hard pop, but you got long landings to land on. That's awesome. So the extra length in this boat is giving you just that longer playground, that bigger sweet spot, and just all around more push. Uh, it just makes it so fun to ride. So Chowder, not everybody can ride like you can. We all wish it, not a reality. So. Talk to the families out there. Give me some scalability of what this thing can do. Well, the amazing thing about Malibu's is all your tanks, your plug and plays, your wedge are all just on the screen and you just, you know, hit a button, they start draining out, the boat starts riding higher on the water and the wake gets smaller. So any skill level, it's gonna be so easy to adjust that wake. Talk to me about the wedge, I powered wedge 3.0. Yeah, it's it's great. I mean, it has a little extra angle, so it's gonna push the, when, you get, when you're fully weighted and you want that biggest wake, it's gonna push the back of the boat up on plane that much faster. You're not gonna be dragging down the lake. And then also for shaping your surf wake. I mean, you can make your surf wake, you can be 20 feet back there just by adjusting the wedge and making it longer or making it steeper. So surf pipe is now an integrated feature on powered wedge three. Now I've noticed incredibly quiet. Yes, it's, what else is it it's definitely qu way quieter. And then it also pushes that exhaust down past the rider and it pops up like 20 feet past the rider. So there's there's no exhaust back there. Gotcha, that's fantastic. So Power Wedge 3, standard with surf pipe, quieter, smoother, cleaner, biggest wakes, longest waves. It's, I mean, what's not to like back there? It's a pretty fun boat. I, I absolutely love spending time behind it. Oh, that's fantastic. Hey, Chad, I appreciate you spending time with us out here today. I know you got a busy schedule and want to get back on the road and, and, and kind of get on that thing. So. Uh, 25 LSV, 2019, 
biggest boat, limo on the water. Get in it, get on it, get behind it. For Chris Loomis, this is Inside Malibu. Have a great day, we'll see you this summer.